everyone, Chris Alex here. So today's video was inspired by the transition from winter to spring and I thought it would be really neat to do a UV effect so that I could show the transition in camera. Let's get into the tutorial. Start with gluing down those eyebrows. Taking some Beta Bond Plus and add it on and around the ears. Carefully place the ear prosthetics into position. Blend into the skin with some latex. The ears are from RBFX Studio. They are ME7. You may recognize these from a couple other makeup looks. These were repainted with Mayron Paradise Paint in dark pink. I went over them again since the old color was still showing through. Use Mayron Pink to airbrush some highlights on the ears. Skin Illustrator Concentrate in Black to paint up my arms. Next up, Skin Illustrator Concentrate in White. Airbrushing the neck, collarbones, and high points of the face. The concentrates work great if you want a fast opacity with an alcohol activated makeup. Also bump up the highlights on the ears. Back to the Mayron Pink and paint on a base. I chose to airbrush this process just because it was easier for me to achieve soft blends. For the shading, use Mayron Dark Pink in all of those fun contour areas. Changing back over with the Skin Illustrator White Concentrate to soften the transition into the pink. Then onto the pink, to further soften and build up the color if needed. Back to the Mayron palette, use the violet for some darker contouring. Don't use too much because you still want the pink to be the primary color. Some Skin Illustrator Blue Marble Sealer to seal all that work so far. Mayron Light Brown to start the branches around the neck, creating an interesting shape and interconnecting the branches so it's more like a cage. Making them thicker in some areas for added effect. Now we're gonna take the dark brown in the airbrush and create shadows below the branches. Make sure to keep a light source in mind so it's all in the same direction. Spritz more blue marble sealer. Using a brush, apply dark brown onto the branches and painting on the outer sides and keeping it blotchy. Don't want the branches looking too smooth. Gonna look a little iffy at this point and just trust the process. Next up, use the Mayron Coral color for the mid area of the branches. Again, apply this blotchy so there's still some of that original brown peeking through. Focus the color on the middle areas of the branches and more blue marble sealer, since I know this makeup is gonna take a while. Mayron Edge in white for thin sporadic highlights. For the blossoms, use Craze Effects Bloodberry Split Cake out of their Split Cake Splash Palette, and apply this with the Craze Effects Petal Brush to stamp the three colors onto the branches, keeping the darker to the center of the flowers and the bottom of the buds. Once happy with the amount, take Beach Berry out of the Mayron palette and create clusters of dots in the middle of the open flowers. Next for the freckles, spatter dark pink around the face, focusing on the cheek and nose. Use a paper towel to protect all the flower work. Apply some eyeshadow primer, bring the shape above my natural crease. With Nervina Volume 1 palette, use A3 and a thin brush to carve out the crease shape start to blend outward. A5 for the lid. Once the color is built up, use the same color to do some quick added shading around the nose. Back to the purple shade and blend it out further and angle upward on the outer corner of the eyes. KVD Vegan Beauty Super Pomade in Graphite. Color in the lower lash line and add points to the inner corners of the eyes. A larger brush and D5 darken the outer corners of the eyes and blend out the black under the eyes. Just a touch of the C1 in the inner parts of the lid. Seal with more blue marble sealer. Put some of the violet Mayron into an airbrush and deepen some of the areas and add it a little more to the eyes. Contour the ears to get some more dimension. 
KVD Vegan Beauty Super Pomade in White Out for a small wing on the eye. Also added some spots around the eyes. Ended up using a baby Q-tip to make this easier to apply. The Skin Illustrator Mardi Gras Palette used French Quarter Fuchsia for the inner parts of the lips and blending them softly outward. Bit of the Mehron Edge in white on the edge of the lips, then blend lightly into the fuchsia. The Collective Cosmetics Saint Rosé Highlighter on all the high points, including on the ears. Didn't do any close to the eyes just yet, because I still need to put in the scleras. KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner to extend the corners of the lips. Back to the Skin Illustrator Mardi Gras Palette, take the Purple Justice and apply it to the very inner part of the lips. Applied some lashes, then some Mehron Brazen Mascara. Did add some more Saint Rosé to the cheekbones since the lenses were in and gave everything a final seal. There's the first part. Now for the glow. Skin Illustrator Glow Worm, begin to sketch the skeleton. Taking your time since you can't really remove it without disrupting the makeup underneath. No pressure. I have a black light on either side of me and once in a while my hand would cast too much of a shadow so I'd use a black light flashlight to help see better. Once the outline is done, use Skin Illustrator Glow Worm Liquid to add the shading taking my time and going over the areas to build brightness. Again, I was casting a shadow over where I was working, so back to that handy flashlight. Once all the airbrushing is done, go over any lines that might look a little too anemic and start to paint some of the snowflakes outside the skeleton. Only did a few fancy ones, then just some starburst and then even dots to build up the areas. Bringing snowflakes even up on the ears. And there you go. A snowy winter UV skeleton and a spring cherry blossom creature. Thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you next time.